Welcome back everybody. I got a new tractor. If you follow the channel much, you know the 4720s in the shop it has a lot of issues going on. I needed something bigger than the 1025 to keep these projects moving forward. Some more on this tractor in just a second, and then we're gonna get to some driveway prep, finish that up and get ready for stone. But first, we are proud to be sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. If you're feeling tippy side to side, get a set of wheel spacers. Bora is made in America, lifetime warranty. Just Google Bora Wheel Spacers, you'll find them. That's where you place your order. This channel is all about tractor education for myself and for you other viewers out there there. If you think it's something that we should know, leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to see more, and check out goodworkstractors.com. We have all sorts of attachments for the front end, for the back end. Whatever you need, we can help. So there aren't that many compact tractors I haven't had before, but this is one right here. That's a brand new model. I've never had it. It's a Kubota MX-6000. This is going to be as large as you can get in the compact tractor world really on par with the Kubota L6060, but um, the MX series is a bit more basic, not as many bells and whistles on it. Um, the front wheels and tires are gonna be larger than the L6060 or even like a 4720, 4066R in the John Deere world. But when Kubota came out, when they redesigned their MX series, they introduced a couple of cab options, the MX5400 and then the MX6000. Uh, so this is the bigger of the two variants. This unit actually has about 12 hours on it right now. So it's nearly new, it's got a uh, a grapple third function up front with a th with a thumb control on it. We are going to include this grapple when we put it up for sale. It's going to have two more rear remotes on the back side, and this cab does have air conditioning and heat as well. So sitting inside the cab, it is pretty spacious. There's no doubt about that. It is a little bit more stripped down, I guess. Um, not as many cubbies or compartments. Uh, you are going to have a pretty basic suspension seat. There's not an air ride seat in here. That could be an optional upgrade, I'm not sure, but there's not even armrests on the seat. Uh, there's a location for a radio up here, but this one just has a knockout. There's no actual radio in it. One thing that's different, you're going to see all the, uh, the ducts for the air conditioning, the HVAC system up on top, which I happen to like a lot better than uh, the M76 that we have right now too. On that uh, series of tractor, all the ducts are gonna be right on the steering column, which I feel like doesn't give quite as well of a air distribution. The treadle pedal on this unit is gonna be more similar to like the, uh, the standard L series, like your L3901, compared to the Grand L, which has a, a different configuration that I like a little bit better. And in fact, I can't even see a place on the dash to scroll through and see like PTO hours or um, anything else on there, I may be missing it, but I don't see anything. So really, the MX series is gonna be a little bit cheaper overall, it's gonna lack some of those bells and whistles, but if you compare it to an L6060, you can still get a factory cab, keep you out of the elements with the air conditioning and the heat. Um, you're still gonna have work lights up top, it's just gonna feel a little bit more basic. And since this is staring at me in the face right here, the fuel fill is actually in the hood, that's not very convenient compared to uh, the location on the Grand L series, which is down by the floorboard. That's a very easy, fantastic location. So it kind of stinks that they relocated that to the hood area. I do believe this loader is going to be the same loader as the Grand L, so you're not losing any capability there. And then if we take a look at the backside on the three point hitch, you're really going to have a couple of nice features back here. So on the three point hitch, you are going to have uh, telescoping lower draft arms on here and then you're going to have a uh, an easy extendable lower arm as well so that you can just push this little bracket down extend the end of the arm out and make it for easier connection on your three-point attachments this unit is also set up with dual rear remotes so you have a fourth and a fifth function back here and your third function up front so you are pretty well decked out on this particular machine i don't think this is a standard setup on how they come but the combination of very low hours all these extra remotes the cab, the biggest horsepower, it's a pretty good setup. So this is the same tiller we had hooked up to the 4720 and that broke down. So we used the 1025R for a while and now we have it hooked up to the MX6000. We're not selling this with, with the tractor. So this is staying with me, uh, it just happens to be green in color. So that's okay, we're gonna make it work. You know, so if you wonder why we are still tackling the driveway, well, number one, it's 1800 foot long. Number two, the 4720 broke down, the 1025, took a while to do and I have a full-time job just like you guys do so I come out here in my free time in the spare time and try to spend a couple hours knocking things out when I can I think we're going to be able to wrap up today uh, this is 84 inches wide this tiller versus just 48 on the 1025 so we can make a lot of progress I did spend two or three hours out here a Sunday or two ago with the skid steer just trying to use that bucket get more familiar and you'll see some of these areas they look 
like they're just terrible i just could not get that bucket level without having tilled ground so this is really going to help with that prep get everything smoothed out ready to go there's a few spots that are low right now that have water in them and that's okay we're it's it's going to get built up you know we want to take the topsoil off the sod off um, and then get a bunch of stone and everything and build it up so eventually the finished product is going to be crowned and above grade we're just not there yet. Alrighty, well, if you wanna see more details on this MX6000, let us know. We can do a whole overview, kind of give our user experience, but for now, sit back, relax, enjoy the music. Let's get to it.
Hey, well, things are actually going great today. It's been just a hair over two hours. We made two passes tilling besides those couple puddle areas. I'll figure that out. But we've done probably 1,200 foot of drive today, tilling it twice, two passes, and uh, probably three quarters of the way done with a, with a bucket, two scooping everything out. We're killing it today. So hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're ready for stone next week. Uh, I got to replace the culvert up by the road. Actually, damaged it. I think I think I did that. It was way shallower than I thought. There's barely any soil on top of it and I caught the top of the, the concrete culvert, but I was planning on replacing that anyways. Gonna put one more down here. Road fabric. I can't wait. So this is the future homestead. So if you want to kind of follow along, maybe you have future plans. You can see what we do, what we do wrong, so you cannot make the same mistake, but we're just getting started. So next up, we're gonna try to get some uh, food plots in for the deer for the fall here and then uh, just a plethora of activity, trails through the woods, gotta put a barn on the other side, another road. Gonna be through the woods though, that's gonna be tough. So if you have something that we should know, leave a comment down below. I'd appreciate it if you liked this video, subscribe to see more, and if you're looking for something for your tractor, check out goodworkstractors.com. Don't forget that big, beautiful Kubota MX6000 tractor is for sale right now at goodworkstractors.com. If you're watching in the future, I'm sorry, it's probably sold. Make sure you check that out. Thanks so much for stopping by, and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.